Welcome to my presentation. I'm Guiyang. I'm going to talk about our paper, Variable Autonomy of Whole Body Control for Inspection and Intervention in Industrial Environments Using Legged Robots. This work aims at replacing human workers from tough on-site works and reducing operators' cognitive load by shared autonomy. In this scenario, a corporate robot is required to use thermal camera to inspect the facility. When something goes wrong, the robot needs to traverse a scaffold to press the emergency stop button assisted by the operator. In practice, we can combine autonomy and teleportation to achieve the goal. Let's look at the entire system first. We use three interfaces to communicate with the robot. A HRI joystick is used to send steering commands remotely. A haptic joystick is employed to guide a single leg to do manipulation tasks. A uh, grill is necessary as well uh, as euro. The main onboard modules include a motion planner, a controller, a sleep estimator, and a wheeling system. The motion planner is a one footstep planner based on the elevation map generated by the wheeling system. Because of using this planner, we didn't achieve dynamic gaze like the trotting gaze in the experiments of this um, paper. The scientific contribution of this paper is about the whole body controller. We use a whole body controller to handle locomotion and manipulation. So, it is a whole body local manipulation controller. We use a non-space projector to project the dynamic equation into two subspaces, constraint-free space and constraint space. We denote the torque mind in constraint-free space and constraint space as tau m and tau c. The constraint-free space determines the robot's motion. In other words, the dynamic Dynamics is determined by tau m, but the motion also affects the contact forces on the feet. We need to account that effect by replacing the acceleration in the constraint dynamics. Subsequently, we formulate a QP optimization to satisfy inequality constraints of friction cone and torque limits. Solving that QP results in the torque command for constraint satisfaction. In the constraint free space, we use Cartesian impedance control to track desired operational trajectories. By converting the joint space dynamics into Cartesian space, we derive a control law that enforces the system to show impedance under external disturbances. The impedance behavior also can be used to estimate the external disturbances. We use the estimated forces as the haptic feedback to do haptic teleportation. The final torque command is the sum of tau m and tau c. Tau m is transformed from the Cartesian impedance control law. The torso and the swing foot is controlled by two impedance controllers. They are prioritized by the inertial consistent non-space projector. Here we 
use the chicken head motion to show the effectiveness of the non-speed projector. Because the torso is in the non-speed of the foot, the movement of the torso doesn't affect the posture of the foot. We also explored body ground contact to improve the robustness against the external forces. We use the same control framework to handle the body ground contact constraints. The only thing needs to be concerned is the singularity caused by the body ground contact. We use, singu we use singular value decomposition to compute the pseudo inverse to avoid the effects of the singularity. So in the video, you can see there are two body ground contacts. In this case, the constraint Jacobi is in singularity. We have to use SVD to compute the pseudo inverse. This video demonstrates the controller can handle slope climbing. The operator is steering the walking direction. The rest of the planning is done by footstep planner and trajectory planner. The controller also can be used to control two spin legs. When running trotting gears, the trotting gate in the video is blind. It doesn't use the information of the camera. Here the whiteboard is artificial eyes. It is used to simulate the slippery ground in some industrial facilities. It demonstrates the advantages of the contact force optimization of our controller. Finally, we demonstrate the haptic teleportation. The operator uses a haptic joystick to control the foot attitude to reach the emergency stop button based on camera view. When pressing the button, the operator can feel the contact force by feeding back the estimated contact force based on trajectory tracking error. When there is no contact, the trajectory tracking error is small. The estimated contact force is filtered out. Just to conclude the paper, we present a semi-analytical optimization-based whole body controller that can handle various keys and manipulation as well. We validated the decoupling of multitask and the singularity tolerance of the controller. The field trial of pressing an e-stop button demonstrates the potential of the framework in industry. Future work will focus on footstep planner for dynamic gaze. Thank you for your time. Your 
welcome to ask questions